Hi, I'm Kim Ho. In this series, we'll be talking to people who have interesting, inspiring, or intriguing stories to tell. This week, we meet Tan Kim Seong and his two brothers, Kim Beng and Kim Ling. Kim Seong dropped out of school at 15 to become a hawker. He started with one fishbowl noodle stall, but over the years, and with the help of his brothers and a business partner, turned it into a food empire with 15 brands and 160 stalls in coffee shops, hawker centres and food courts all over the island. This is their story. Of course, a diploma is very useful, but I think, end of the day, how we really treat people from all walks of life is more important. I think that is really patient culture. We are hungry. We need to earn some. I need to earn some money to support family, you know. And I have a platform that my grandfather uh, needs some stuff to help. So I learn. I help them, and I still can earn some pocket money and earn some skill from them. But I stopped my school when I was a uh, secondary three. Then I work. You know, morning I will help him on the the store, my grandfather's store. Night time, I will go to the hawker centre, make the neighbour to help the neighbour also earn some part-time money. La. I realised, you know, I like to do my own business. So I, the first outlet, I tried to do fish body. I don't like to study, ma. Then when I small, I, around 12 years old, I come out. Then I go and help my uncle first. Yeah, uncle, after I finish my NS already, I, my brother have their own shop already. Then I go and help my brother until now. La. My brother go into the shopping mall. Then all the coffee shop, I my small brother to handle. Uh, once he took out a shop, I will plan the layout of the shop. Liaising with vendors, contractor. And then once it's built up, we hand over to Market. My, my role is more towards uh, operation. So uh, I will get all the correct people to do all the correct job. The first one in 2012 in Jurong Point, Malaysia Bole. So we went to this Pingning. And actually I want them to rent the store from us in Singapore. As this uncle told me, he called me, Ati, you don't waste time. He said, their rental there is very cheap and the next generation is not going to take over their store. Why would I, I mean, why would they go and open a store in Singapore? And up to today, we have friends. We are friends together. I mean, we are friends for too many years, and uh, we appreciate their help. And he's a he's the one who organized all their hawker friends to meet us. Then we talk to them, and they agreed to sell their brand and recipe to us. Before we started, we tried all the quality of the kway teow, everything is hala. The taste between Malaysia bole and bole bole, the taste is almost the same. We still maintain that, that mandate that we want to sell not cheap but good quality food to, to, our, to our people. It's good to have more variety coming in. We have many heritage food coming along also.
I got some Korean friend there, so we met some landlord, and uh, this is uh, London also. Uh, I met some landlord there. So, but with this COVID now, maybe we have to wait for another two years now. For me, I would like to uh, so called to keep this hawker trade, uh, this hawker food, uh, down the future, and also we want to bring this. Uh, Singapore hawker food to overseas because Singapore is a unique country with a hawker man. so if this hawker food can be showcased to every country then it will make, make us proud la. One lesson focus on, on what we are familiar with yeah, so we just focus on our, all the local food that we know